25th annual Share Your Holidays Food Drive. Deborah Wrigley standing by at the main drop-off location, the HAEB on Westheimer and Fountain View, and she's going to introduce us to very dedicated volunteers out there. Hi, Deborah. Uh, hi, Alona. You know, it is a real tradition in Houston, the process of giving so that other people can receive. It's also a tradition of volunteering. 25 years ago, it began in the parking lot of Channel 13, a community food drive launched during the beginning of the oil bust when Houstonians were losing jobs when hunger was emerging as a community issue. George Reeves has been a Share Your Holiday volunteer since day one. I was watching TV and I remember Don saying, I need some more food. So I put a little bag and I, did, I didn't know they had the buses were running. 65 goes right in front of the station. I didn't know the bus was running. I walked from Westwood Mall all the way to 33. Channel 13. Yep. That's commitment. Kenny Ryman has been volunteering for a quarter century as well. We've been here snow, sleet, heavy rains, lightning, thunder, high winds, and heat. And heat. And then there's Bill Campbell, a disabled vet, working the food drive for 20 years, now working from his wheelchair. Homeless after Vietnam, he worked his way back to giving, this time to a new generation of soldiers' families. We've got so many people, so many vets serving overseas right now. Their families are coming to the food bank because they're used to that double income. And without that being there, they're having to come to the food bank to get help. And uh, that's one way that we can support our troops is by bringing more food down here. It is certainly one way to support the families of the troops and just families in need. Every month, the Houston Food Bank gives out enough food to feed 250,000 people. And what they're doing today here, collecting food, will help them on that goal. The drive lasts until 6 o'clock. For drop-off sites, go to abc13.com. In southwest Houston, Deborah Wrigley, 13 Eyewitness News. Thanks, Deborah. Good thing the rain held off today, yeah. too.